Hey guys, this is The Rival Boss, and today I'm bringing you guys a new image that I found on Arcade Punks, and I thought this was a good match for this Arcade 1UP machine. This is Retro Pi Omega, and I picked this image because this one is really easy to set up. Uh, I will probably go maybe attach how to install this as well. As you can tell, it's got nice intro mute kind of a sound going on here. You can turn like this down or off. Um, but anyway, so this is this is the first time booting it up. Uh, as you can see in the background, has come up before this is finished. That sometimes happens. Um, but anyway, we're just going to go show you basically how to quickly set this thing up for it to work uh, for your arcade one up. And then we're also going to show you um, basically what's on it. So when you first boot up the system, you're going to come to something like this. And as you can hear, it has background music. Uh, background music is actually pretty cool. Um, but for our use, we're going to turn that off for right now. So when you come up to here, you'll notice that you'll see options. Uh, the first thing that will pop up, by the way, is uh, the, uh, to set up your controls. But because I've already booted this up one time, uh, it's gonna it just bypass them. But if you ever need to, you press start, and then you can get back into your config input. And I'll show you that real quick. So this is what's gonna come up. It's gonna look like this. You can say two D pads, uh, two game pads detected. You're gonna press and hold any button on that first control pad, and then you're just gonna go right through this. Up, down, left, right. Start is your player one. Select is your coin button. And then A, short, B, forward, jab is X, strong is Y, and then left shoulder I usually set as roundhouse, fierce is my right shoulder. And then you want to bypass the rest of these by pressing and holding the button, okay? And you just want to get all the way down to, this is if you had like a PlayStation 3 controller. Oh, that music, yo. I gotta keep talking during this, otherwise I'm gonna get copyright strikes. <laughs> so anyway, you're gonna go down to hotkey enabled, and then you're gonna hit that select button again, or that uh, button that you use for coins, okay? So you're gonna press that, and then go to okay, and then we're gonna quickly, really quickly, we're gonna go and turn off this music, because I don't want copyright strikes. So we're gonna go into the options right here, okay? We're gonna hit X, and as you can notice, this is not going to work. Uh, as you can tell, the ratio is wrong, and we're losing some of the image. Uh, but you can still see over on this side what's going on. The second one down says enable or disable background music. We're going to go in there, okay? We're going to listen to the, a little bit more of the song here before it. Bang, we're going to go to OK. We're going to go to disable background music, okay? We're going to get rid of that background music. Now, if you notice, it doesn't go right away, right, right away. So we're going to exit, is we're going to go into the, and we're going to show you an Amiga game here real quick. Let's see, this will get rid of it here. Let's see, I'm curious, does it boot up another sound? Okay, so once the song's over, apparently that kills it too. Okay, so now that the song's over, we can show you how to set up the rest of this image. Uh, so as you saw, the ratio is wrong. So that's an easy fix. You're going to press that start button again you're gonna go down to UI settings, okay? And this one comes pre-installed uh, pre with a di couple different theme sets. Um, I would recommend JoyPy. Pick JoyPy, press the short button or the accept. Go down to JoyPy, go back, and then you're gonna hit the B button to exit out. It's gonna take a little bit, depending on how the speed of your flash card. And we're sitting here. And let's talk about thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, your subscri subscribing and liking my channel has grown it tremendously. I, I really appreciate it, guys. We're getting so close to that thousand, you know, magical thousand mark. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to hit B. And as you can see, we have a very nice, simple HUD. Uh, with all the, the games on it. And we're going to show you guys some of those games first. But there is one more thing we need to do real quick. So we're going to go back to those settings again. Because as you've seen in some of my other videos, 
Uh, these images are really made for like a, a six by nine or you know a widescreen format, not this um, this ratio on this arcade one up machine. So we're gonna go back to setup real quick, and now you can see we can see all those. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to bezel project. Okay, we're gonna bring up the bezel project by pressing A, and it's gonna hopefully kick us in there. There it goes. And what we're gonna do. We're going to hit yes there. Don't mind the coughing dog. He's part, he's our mascot in my 16 year old Shiba Inu. And we're going to go down to disable uh, system bezel pack. Okay. We're going to click that. And now you're going to want to disable each one of these. You're going to just go in and click and go down. Okay. We're going to go to super graphic. Okay, and basically you just keep going down each one and disabling that, that bezel pack. Now, if you were using this on your widescreen television, you would not need to do that. Uh, definitely final burn. For our testing right now, we're going to just do a couple. Uh, arcade we're going to do, we're going to do final burn alpha, we're going to do the MAME. And I think I'm going to also do PSX real quick, just kind of show you guys PSX here. So we're going to go down to PSX, uh, maybe Sega CD too. We're going to do Sega CD too. So I like I like my Sega CD games here. Okay, and then once that's completely done, all we had to do is we go back to exit, and then we go to exit again, and it's going to boot back up. Notice the music didn't kick back in because we already turned it off, and now we can see what's in this, guys. Okay, so we have 1,778 Amiga games. Okay, and by the way, all these have all the games and screen art and screen video. And it's nice, large a screen video. So that's really cool. Uh, we've got our Amiga, the, what is this, 2100, A21. We've got our Amiga CD32. Now, this is interesting because you never see this thing. And there is some pretty cool games. I mean, they're random games on this system. Um, yeah, so this is a really cool thing. Um, yeah, you never see Amiga 30 CDs. So, you know, if you want to play those, they're on there. Uh, then, And by the way, if you don't like any of these games, once you have this thing completely up and running, you're just going to connect it to Wi-Fi. Uh, I can show you that real quick. And then, uh, basically, you can just delete this folder it on your like once you attach it and go through it on a personal PC you're just gonna bring it up like you connected to another computer on your network and just delete these folders and they'll just disappear if you didn't want something um, so we've also got so here's our arcade games okay we've got 1494 arcade games right on this image that you're gonna download and as you can see, they are pretty good ones. Like we got some 1942, we got 1943. And as you can see, we got box art, we got nice screens play. And we're gonna launch up 1943 real quick just to show you guys. I'm gonna press that A. And now because we disabled the bezel pack, it's gonna take a little bit. Because we disabled the bezel pack, we will not have a bezel, hopefully. And as you can see, no bezel. Pretty sweet, guys. And we're going to enter some tokens just to show you. Start. There's our game. It works. Pretty awesome. If we want to go back, we're going to hit the Start and Select button. And that kicks us right back into the main menu. Okay, pretty sweet, right? And you can just go through these. Uh, if you ever want to go to look for a certain game, right, uh, you're just going to basically push that start button, and it's going to bring up so you can jump to a certain uh, file. So if I want to jump to, say, the Ks, I go there, and as you can see, it kicks me right into the Ks. Okay. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys, and let's see what else. So now we've looked at the arcade games. We also have our hacks, 42 of them. We have, and those are arcade hacks, by the way. So these are really cool ones. Uh, so you got like, you know, 
your Hyper Street Fighter Anniversary Edition. You got King of Fighters. You got lots of stuff in there. It's really cool. The hacks are. Uh, you got your old Atari 2600. You got 630 of those. You got 58 Atari 7800. You got basically every Atari Lynx game, 83. You got 3,261 uh, Commodore 64 games. That's way more than that Mini had. Uh, here is some hacks for this Commodore. Uh, ColecoVision, 140. I don't know. I've never been a ColecoVision person. Now, this is really cool. These are, these are a lot of the really good Capcom games that you're going to want to play. This is Capcom, I believe, 1, 2, and 3 all combined in this folder. You just go in here, and then you just search for, say, I don't know, something awesome like, oh, there's Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. If you don't know what that game is, you're missing out. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs are awesome. Cyberbots, right? Another awesome game. And as, well, I'm going to show you real quick. So here's Cyberbots. We just press the button to boot up Cyberbots. It's going to take a minute for a second because I got a slow flash card, but it's cheap. And as you can see, we've got our Cyberbots, and we're not going to have any type of, uh, you know, annoying uh, overlays going on. We can insert some coins. There's our Cyberbots. Okay, so yeah, I mean, lots of awesome Capcom games. Uh, we got 79 of those. Then we've got our Daphne. Now this is like Laserdisc, and these are really cool. Uh, this is like your, you know, Dragons Layer One and Two. You got your Space Ace, and uh, this Super Don Quixote, which is also a really cool game. Um, now we've got our Dreamcast. Now there's only one Dreamcast game on here, and uh, it is nothing. It's Star Recast. So I don't know. Uh, in general, you know, uh, Sega Dreamcast games don't really run great on the Pi, so that's why people don't put very many. So this is kind of like one of those folders you might want to delete. Um, you got your family computer, also known as the Japanese Nintendo, 422. We've got some handheld games, Game & Watch, 54. We've got Game Gear, 263. And as you notice, all these images are really pretty. Um, let's see real quick. Out of curiosity, what happens when I hit the start button out here? What do we get? We get gameplay of a random one. So just by hitting start, this is your screensaver. This will come on after a while. Uh, and you can usually cycle it by pushing right. Let's see if it does it. Yep, it does. And this is just going to show you just random games that are on this image. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go back out for now. Uh, game, uh, game Boy... 489, 1,036 uh, Game Boy Advance games. That is a ton of Game Boy Advance games. Really cool. Uh, then we got Game Boy Color, 588. Intellivision, 118. Uh, Master System, 271. Let's see if it has the most important one of all, which is Golden Axe Warrior. Golden Axe Warrior. It's almost. Let's see. Golden Axe Warrior. Yeah. So, best game. Golden Axe Warrior is awesome. Okay. Master System. We got our 16 bit uh, Master Drive. We've got another Master Drive. We got the Genesis Hacks. We've got MSX. Uh, that has 500 and thing. Oh, and by the way. Uh, Mega Drive, a.k.a. Sega Genesis, has 766. Um, we've got our N64. We've got 10 games. They probably picked ones that are more optimized. Let's see. Yep, Lamborghini, Castlevania. Uh, Doom 64. Yeah, you can play that on this. Yeah, definitely play F-Zero. Mario Kart for sure. Mario 64, you're getting kind of iffy. And the two... You know, some of these... Uh, definitely Wipeout, though. So... Some good games that you can actually play on a cabinet. Uh, then we got Neo Geo. This is your Neo Geo arcade games. 141. Nintendo Entertainment System. 783. You got some hacks. You've got 82 ga uh, Neo Geo Pocket Colors. This is also really rare and really cool. Um, so that's that on there too. Uh, PC Engine, also known as TurboGrafx-16. Uh, that is 210. 
Uh, there is a CD, just PC CDs. We got Castlevania, Ronde of Blood, uh, Double Dragon, Prince of Persia, R-Type. So just kind of some arcade games that must have also been on PC. Uh, and then you got some ports. Let's see what you got in ports. You got Cave Story, awesome. Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom, uh, Open Board Beats, The Rage. Oh, so it's like, a, okay, I get that. Uh, and Evolution. That's cool. Uh, those PSP games, you know, these are normally just the real low-budget PSP games. Now, here's a cool one. Now, uh, you know, we got 66 PlayStation 1 games on this image already, and there's a bunch of really good ones. Dino Crisis. I'm going to boot one of these up. Uh, should I boot up my favorite in Handler and see if it works? In Handler. Or, let's see, we got a lot of games on here, though. 66. I'm feeling like, let's see if uh, Metal Gear is on here. I'm playing through Metal Gear Solid 3 right now. I love that. I love all the Metal Gear games. Ooh, Wipeout's good, too. Uh, I didn't see... Did, uh, Metal, oh, Strider. Actually, we're going to see Strider 2 work. Strider 2 is awesome. So we're going to boot that up real quick and see. Hopefully. This image, I did notice, takes a little bit of time to load, but... It's not too bad. And by the way, guys, I'm still trying to find a place. If you guys can host a 120 megabyte or gigabyte, I'm sorry, uh, file, I have an image that I, you know, that basically has all of my my favorite ROMs on it, uh, Sega CD, all this stuff, and it's all set up right out of the box for our arcade one up but i can't find any place to host it so i mean you literally just download the image and it worked perfectly uh but yeah strider freaking strider 2 awesome game right there works perfectly maybe which button there we go <laughs> so yeah strider 2 works good pretty sweet um you know so yeah you got your playstation so this is a great image um, for easy to install, you know, once all I had to do basically to get this uh, up and running was download it, uh, then I didn't even have to unzip it, and then I used Etcher to put it on the card. I put the card in, I took the, uh, you know, sides off, and I turned the music off because I just didn't want to get copyright strikes. And, you know, now I've got a perfect working, where's my attack? perfect working arcade uh, game system so you know if you liked this video uh please like and subscribe it really helps out i will try to make another video i've been super busy with work oh also has 32 uh say uh, uh 32x we also have scum v uh, vm 12 games and then you've got more sega game cabinets that's freaking awesome by the way that's really hard to come by uh, you got 132 Sega CD games. Wow, that is a ton of Sega CD games, by the way. Holy, that's awesome. Uh, uh, the old uh, Sega Genesis 100 or 1000, TurboGrafx, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, 784. See, I thought I was over, but I was not. <laughs> You've got some uh, hacks for Super Nintendo. What hacks do we got in here? We got a bunch. Bucky, Buck Rogers. We got some F Zeros. We got Donkey Kong Country. That's sweet. Uh, Vectrex. We got uh, Video Pack. Virtual Boy. We got 27 of these. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, uh, Wonder Swan. That's also a really rare one. Uh, 92. Uh, Sharp 6800. I've actually never heard of that. Sinclair. As you can see, Commodore uh, 64, you know. Uh, then you also have the, what's on the Classic, which is hilarious. So you got your NES Classic and SNES Classic. Custom Collection. And then it even has, like, all games. Uh, total, this, this image combined has 18,065 games. That's a lot of games. So, you know... Yeah, and it was super easy to set up. As you saw, I got this thing working in a, in really quick. And then when you're done, to shut it down, you're just basically... And by the way, I, I had a bunch of people like complain about the attract mode in the last one. Attract mode is just supposed to be cool. Like, you know, it's it's more cool than looking at, you know, just images like this. Um, but, 
you know, this doesn't have a track mode. That's one I try to find. And some people were having trouble navigating it and stuff. This one's super simple. Like I said, downloaded, etched it onto a card, popped it in, set up my controls, got rid of the, you know, si the uh, overlay uh, and turn off the music. And, you know, uh, then when I'm done playing, I press the start button again. I go down to quit, shut down the system, and it will just shut it down. So if you like this video, check out my other videos. Uh, there is one with a track mode and all arcade ROMs. That video, as long as you can get past the attract mode uh, or like a track mode, uh, it is all arcade games. It, so it is perfect for this. But I just wanted to give something else uh, that had some other options for you guys. And I'm going to press the uh, select button down here to bring up my screensaver. And as you can see, we've got Atari 2600 Dolphin. Oh, yeah. So that's the rival boss. Thanks for watching and check check you out next time. Hopefully I'm going to have more videos coming up. Uh, just been, like I said, really busy with life. Uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.